Alright, what is going on everyone? So if you're watching this video, you want to learn more about posing, specifically the mandatory posing and bodybuilding, and that is what I'm going to be going over in this video. So I'm going to give you guys some tips, I'm going to go through the poses themselves, explain things, and then I'm also going to give you guys what I'm actually thinking about, just like doing like a lift, during the actual pose itself to help you with your own posing. The other thing you really need to think about guys is where you're actually taking the video of you posing. And what I mean by that is the angle in which the video is being taken, and if you're taking videos consistently, that is going to have a huge effect on what the video looks like and what you look like in the video. Just like lighting has a role, that is gonna be huge. So staying consistent with everything, not only the place, but how you're actually filming, that is gonna be huge for measuring your progress. So anyways, just wanted to preface that but before I get into everything. So basically, when you get on stage, and you're in bodybuilding, you're gonna go on stage and you're gonna do quarter turns. So what quarter turns are, essentially, this is the front, this is what you're gonna look in your front pose when you're getting your quarter turns. So lats flare, staying big chest, hands are not touching your sides here. So what I'm doing here and I'm focusing on is driving my feet into the ground, rooting my feet into the ground, almost like I'm squatting. So my toes are pointed forward, rooting my feet into the ground, that's gonna engage my quads here. And then as I come up, I'm flaring my lats like I would on a lat pull down. And I'm holding that here. Big chest, twisting those feet into the ground. When you say quarter turn, you're gonna turn one quarter turn, and you're gonna rip through here. So here I'm ripping through my chest, pushing down through this side, Pulling, ripping through, and pulling down. So you're almost doing like, you're gonna do like a pec fly, but you're pulling here, so you can really get the definition of that chest. On this one, you really wanna make sure the camera is really what the judges are gonna look like. That is where the judges are. So you wanna make sure you're down a little bit, because the judges are always gonna be a little lower off the stage. So when I come here, boom, and I'm looking this way. All right, so that's gonna be my quarter turn. You're also flexing the hamstring a bit, but you're just standing straight up. All right, then you're gonna quarter turn again, and you're facing the rear. And now what you're doing, same thing applies, but you're squeezing your glutes as well, rotating your feet into the ground with those hamstrings engaged, and pulling out. Same thing, left pull down, flare, Separate those scapula, the upper back. Lean into it. Hands still, not on your side, doing the quarter turns. Alright, so then you get quarter turn again. Same thing, ripping that chest through. Make sure you're showing. Flex, boom, I like to come here. Go a little farther back, either way. There's a lot of variation within this, and you have to find what works best for you and your body, and also what makes your body look the best, right? That's what it's about. Bodybuilding is about making the muscle that you have appear in the most big, aesthetic, symmetrical manner possible. All those things combined. The big thing is making sure that you are presenting your muscle in the best way possible. There's many guys on stage, when they're walking around in the back, they might look way bigger than I do. They might look way bigger than you do. They might look way bigger than the next guy. But when they step on stage, if they don't know how to present their muscle, and actually move fluidly through poses, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for them to win because that's the big thing with bodybuilding, the posing itself. So anyways, that's huge guys. You really need to take into consideration these poses, but then adapt them to you and your own body. All right, so getting into the mandatory poses guys. The first mandatory pose you're gonna do is a front lat spread. So here's where you're gonna actually put your hands on your sides for the first time. You can put them in different spots, so it all depends on the person. Sometimes you want to be low, sometimes you want to be a little higher. It just depends on you and your body. But either way, you're flaring those lats, driving those feet into the ground, and holding that there. So that's the front lat spread. You can also flex your abs, you can do a vacuum like I do, either way. That's all going to be preference as well. So, front lat spread, front double bicep. 
Same thing applies here. When you're bringing those biceps up, be careful to not be pulling back. Notice how my biceps disappear. Actually show them. So you want to bring them down even. So the next one is going to be a side chest. So this is a little pro tip. So if you see me, this is what I look like on the opposite side. I'm actually digging my knee here into that back hamstring, into this opposite hamstring. So what I'm actually doing is I'm digging that in so it's bringing this hamstring to be more pronounced. So I'm coming here, ripping that chest through just like you're in the side chest, but now I'm grabbing my wrist. You can grab that forearm. I like to grab the wrist. You can grab the palm. I really like the wrist so I can get a good tight pull down. And then I'm crunching those abs. And I'm also flexing my bicep here like I'm doing a curl. All those are happening, all those contractions are happening at one time, as well as sticking my calf and flexing by sticking my toe on the ground, I should say. All right, boom. So then from there, you move into a side tricep. So very similar, same thing with the legs, but now I like to reach, pull, wrap through. All right, so you're gonna be here with it. You can also do a side chest like this, and you're gonna get that tricep going already, and then you're pulling through. I'm clasping my hands back here, and pulling down through, locking my arm out, just like that. All right, so that's basically the big thing there with the side tricep. When you move to the back then, we got a rear double, or excuse me, we'll do rear lat spread first. So same thing applies, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those hamstrings, driving those legs down, and then you're gonna go from here, flare those lats. So still the same thing, pulling down that lat pull down, flaring up. So expanding those shoulder blades, rotating those feet in, squeezing those hands. All right, so that's the rear lat spread. The last one is going to be rear double bicep. So same thing applies, squeezing those hamstrings. Now you're bringing the lat pull down and coming up to a double bicep. Rotate those arms back. Notice how my arms disappear and like this. Rotate those arms back even more than you think you might actually want to. Then the other one is going to be a most muscular. This can be done many ways depending on what you actually like. I kind of like coming here with it. Some people like coming down like a crab. Um, it really all depends, but that's what you're going to hear. And I also have to do that at some point as well most of the time. But those are the main things. I really wanted to go over. The big thing, like I said, is you knowing what works best for your body, and that is going to be the big payoff. And you only find that out by using video, staying consistent with that, staying consistent with your training, of course, but as you are diving down, getting subjective eyes, getting subjective opinions, or objective rather, is going to be huge for your success to ensure that you're not being too hard on yourself, and also you are being critical enough. But anyways, hope this helps out. Um, if you have any questions beyond this or if you'd like me to cover anything more specifically beyond this, let me know. Talk to you soon.